I'm Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez and God has called and commissioned me to preach the good news of the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. My dear friend, I encourage you as I share a message with you and I pray for you today. Be in agreement, connect in faith, believe and you shall receive in the name of Jesus. Hello and welcome to this special video brought to you by GFM United Prayer and Revival Ministry Studio. It is so good to be with you today, my dear friend. It is a brand new day that God has given us. It is an opportunity. It is a time that we can press in and that we can receive from God. As you know, today is Thursday and on Thursday we speak special declarations. I want to speak declarations over you so that you will make progress. And I trust, know and believe God is going to bless you. Now, as we begin, I want to encourage you, wherever you are, raise up your hands and just surrender to God and pray this prayer with me. Let us welcome the Holy Spirit. Say this out loud. Say, Holy Spirit of God, I welcome you. Come, Lord Holy Spirit, and take over control. Help me to pray. Help me to press in. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, my dear friend, as we begin, I want to encourage you. Invest in yourself. Invest in making progress. Invest in making progress in the spirit and also in the physical. Invest in making progress with your relationship with God. Invest in making progress in your purpose, in your destiny. Invest in making progress in your passions, your desires, your skills. Invest in making progress in your dream that God has given you. Invest in yourself. Increase your skills. Invest in skills. Invest in time spent in reading, learning new things. Invest so that you can go forward. When I say invest in yourself, I say, do what is needed, pay the price so that you can go to a greater glory. I tell you, my dear friend, people who go up to a greater glory are people who pay the price. If you want to go up and you want to do great things, it will require you to pay a price in some way or another. Whether it's through effort, whether it's through your vision, whether it's through wisdom, whether it's through investing in yourself. And this is one of the keys that is so important for us as born again believers so that we can make progress. Educate yourself. Learn various different things. You don't have to have a degree in order to do great things. But you can invest in yourself in terms of reading. Read different books. Learn different insights. Understand how people see things. Try and expand your knowledge base. Invest in yourself. Invest in your skills. Develop new skills that will help you in your purpose and your destiny. That will help you to get ahead. If you're a minister, if you're called to preach the gospel, or you're called to minister in some way or another, Invest in time reading the Word of God. Invest in yourself. The Bible says study to show thyself approved. Study and learn. Learn new things. God wants you to make progress. Understand and know that even as you put the effort in, God will give you the grace to fulfill it. God will give you the grace to make progress. God will give you the grace to move forward. Invest in yourself. That is the word that I want to give you today. Now, as we begin, I want to encourage you, wherever you are, begin to praise God in your own words. Let us begin by praising Him, and as we discern His presence, then we'll begin to pray. And I trust, know, and believe God is going to do what only He can do. So, wherever you are, begin to praise Him in your own words. Father, we just praise You, and we thank You. We thank You for Your grace. We thank You for Your mercy. We thank You, Lord, for Your love towards us. We thank You that You never leave us helpless, and You never leave us alone. We as your children can always call on you and you will make a way. We thank you for Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, and all that he has made available to us. We can be born again, we can be saved, we can receive from you. Because of your goodness, because of your mercy that you've bestowed upon us through Christ Jesus, our Lord and Savior. We thank you for the full and finished work of the cross, through which we can be saved, through which we can be blessed, through which we can receive blessing after blessing. We thank you for the full and finished work of the cross, through which we can be reconciled back to you. We thank you for your goodness and your mercy towards us and towards our lives. And we know that because of your goodness and mercy, we will make progress. Progress is our portion. Progress is what you have made for us. You've made us to make progress and not to stagnate, even in this season. Give my dear friend the grace to make progress. And as my dear friend moves forward, receive all the glory, receive all the honor, receive all the praise. In the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. My dear friend, now we're going to begin. As we begin, I want to encourage you, comment down below in the comment section and agree with me. There is so much power in agreement. And even as you comment and agree, God is going to bless you. The Bible says, where two or more are gathered in agreement, the Lord is there. Where two or more agree on a thing is touching, it shall be established. So let us agree. And I know, I trust, I believe God is going to bless you. 
Another thing is if you've got a prayer request and you want us to pray with you and for you, simply go to our website, go to www.gabrielfernandezministries.org and click on daily prayer list. Fill in your prayer request, click submit, it'll come through to me and I'm going to trust God with you. But in saying that, let us begin. Father, I pray for my dear friend. Even today, as I speak these special declarations over my dear friend, give my dear friend the grace to make progress. Give my dear friend the grace to invest in themselves. Give my dear friend, dear son, my dear friend, dear daughter, regardless of where they are and regardless of when they will watch this video. On that day that they watch this video, give my dear friend the grace to make progress and let every spirit that causes stagnation be broken in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. My dear friend, wherever you are right now, I decree and declare, may God give you progress in your life. May you begin to move wherever things are not moving. May God give you grace so that you may move forward and so that you may make progress. May He give you grace so that you will not stagnate and waste your years, but you will make much progress and you will catch up for all the years that you've lost. May God give you grace and insight into the area that He has called you and into the area that you need to develop skills. And may you increase in your caliber and even in your rank within that calling, within that purpose, within that destiny. May God give you grace and promotion. May He open doors of blessing for you and may He make goodness and mercy follow you all the days of your life. May the goodness of God shine upon you even in the land of the living. May you taste and see that there is a God and He lives and He speaks in the name of Jesus. The Bible says if you can be trusted with little, you can be trusted with much. Wherever you are, may God give you grace right now so that you will be faithful with little. Whatever little God has given you, even if that little is a lot, may God give you grace to be faithful with it. And as you are faithful, may God increase that and make it more in the name of Jesus. May God boost your faith and increase you to a greater glory and a greater realm, a greater dimension, even in your ability to trust God. In the spiritual realm, in terms of your relationship with God, may you go to another level. May God give you grace to invest in good books, in the Word of God, in spending time with God, so that you will make progress in Jesus' name. May goodness and mercy follow you even as you seek God. May God show you great and mighty things which you know us not. May the goodness of God surround you and be your portion. May God bless you with good things, things that will make you happy, things that are good for you. May God open doors of blessing and shut all doors of evil in your life. In the name of Jesus. And may God give you wisdom so that as you invest in yourself, you won't just be wasting money choosing courses and skills that you don't really need in that purpose and destiny, but may He give you wisdom so that you will choose the right ones, so that you'll be in the right place, and so that you'll make the right progress in Jesus' name. May God give you wisdom and insight, knowledge and understanding, so that you may understand how things work and how to make them happen. May God give you the ability to apply theoretical knowledge practically. May God give you that grace because very few have it. Many people know the theory, but they are not able to apply things practically. May God give you the grace to apply things practically and to go up to a greater glory in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and Amen. My dear friend, you are blessed and you cannot be cursed. Wherever you are, may God's goodness and mercy surround you and may God take you to greater glories in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and Amen. In saying that, we come to the end of this video. From myself, Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez, God bless you and goodbye. My dear friend, we come to the end of this video. If you are blessed by this video and you feel led to donate or to partner with us to support us in this work that we are doing, then you can do so through PayPal or Patreon. All the links are provided in the description. Until next time, God bless you and goodbye.